Hello, my friends. Today we are working on finishing up a project, or at least finishing up one part of the project. And you might be saying, what part is that? That is the putting on the rest of the roof on our beautiful workshop here. And for now, it's going to be off-grid workshop. So as you can see, one whole entire side where the shade is right there has a roof on it. The other side does not. We don't really like the whole open concept type of approach. So we are going to be putting metal on the whole other side here today. At least we're going to be shooting for that goal, Lord willing. Are the lizards out this year? Let's see if we can try to get them. Buddy. There's so many of these lizards around here. He's shedding actually. All of his old winter skin's coming off. Hi buddy. The sun needs to come over a little bit. Today I'm going to be doing some more homestead stuff around the farm. Us boys yesterday went on a lawn mowing job. We have several different business endeavors. We start new ones and we kind of started up our own little lawn mowing company. And I have some lawn clippings mixed with some sticks and stuff like that all in here. It's actually very compacted in here. I've been on top of it this year a little bit more or lately on getting the guys to come out here and drop mulch. Now, as you can see, they just dropped some brand new mulch this morning. So I need to get the tractor and push it out a little bit before they come back and drop off some more mulch. We're having a tree uh, that's way too big for us boys to take down. If we try taking it down and it falls the wrong way, it could destroy fruit trees or our garden. So we're gonna have the professionals take it down. And on top of that, we'll get some epic mulch. So we'll have even more mulch, so. Here is the new trailer, new Texas Boys trailer that we picked up yesterday. So we're going to go pick up some cows real quick and we're going to do some cow shuffling today. We are going to be testing out our, our new trailer that we picked up. So. Join us today as we do some cowboying. We got the cow. Woo! God couldn't bless us with a more beautiful day, I guess. Come on, baby. I think I literally got five miles to the gallon. Oh, baby. Let's go. Hi, girls. Hi, Drango. How you doing, booby? It's dead, stead. Fat boy. Come on out, y'all. Woo! That's a big boy right there. Man, Sassy, you are looking good, girl. For being almost 18 years old. And this is Pedro Sanchez here. Durango. 
Hi, buddy. He's a new horse. Pedro. Pedro. There's the mini donkey. Hey, donka. Hi, mama. She's a first time mama. Where's the baby? How's your little baby doing? What's your little baby doing? Your baby already has nubs on her. Hi, mama. You're pretty girl. So it was about, it was about an hour and 20 minutes to go get these two guys. And now we got them. Hi, mama. This is, her legal name is Splenda. And I think she's gonna be one of our most beautiful, beautifulest cows here on the farm. If you can already see, she has these tiger stripes that are starting to get, that she's starting to get on her. And she's only two years old or so. <laughs> There's our little donkey right there. Little female donkey. We got her for free from a neighbor. Did you bang your head, dude? Woo! Got a big old bump on his head. Might have banged his, banged his head against something. Yeah, he did. He has a big old welt. Like he smacked his head on something. As you can see, this is going to be, we're gonna be doing some fence repair. We're going to be doing some weed whacking, some pulling of the fences, things like that. Here we go, off to the ranch. We are, we are now over at the ranch property. As you can see, spring has fully bloomed here. You can see how it's starting to overgrow on these edges here. It's overgrowing here and all the way down our property line. It's about a thousand feet or so. And as you can see from our crazy cow adventures, fences are very hillbilly-fied right here. We have very good animals and they stay in the fences even though they've been very much tampered with. And as you can see, I don't know if you can really see it, but all through there, it's just kind of the fences. Felt its age over the several years. So I'm gonna have these two guys work on the fence while I be the, while I do the whacking. And when I'm done, I'll help them out. We got a fence um, tightener. I guess that's what you call it. So you can splice your fence, grab two ends, and then it'll squeeze it together, and then you can wrap it back around again. So they're starting over here where there's a couple loose spots here. Just, there's been just some makeshift repairs over there is where the cow got out into the other pasture. They can fix that really quick. So just a little TLC around the ranch here. This has been the best um, weed whacker I have literally ever used, the FS-130. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. We, we got that weed whacker right there from underneath of our house. It's kinda a blessing, actually. It was free, it was underneath there. And us boys kinda tinkered with it for a little bit and it fired right on up. And uh, after that, we've just ran non-ethanol in it and it's been awesome we put the blade on it we'll run the normal string on it i love it because sorry about all the i got grass all over me right now see all my see my jeans most weed whackers they don't have enough power and it's always a pain in the butt they're perpetually bogging down 
especially when you're dealing with when you're dealing with Texas grass here. Alrighty, so while I've been off and getting more chips dropped off, James and Buddy have totally stripped this fence, scrapping the old wire and putting brand new wire up. So what I have to do is finish weed whacking up here. So I'm gonna get on with it, start weed whacking some more. The fence building has been coming along very well while I weed whacked. Now the boys are getting down a rhythm here. Without that thing, it makes uh, pulling barbed wire fences very tricky. Just put this one around here like that. Grab this little end like that. Put it on the other side. Lift it down. Strand two is up here. This is going to be a five strand barbed wire fence. The four line barbed wire fence that they used to have here. So it'll go one at the bottom, two, and it'll have the next one here will be around here or so. It keeps the mid-sized cows and even the bigger cows from even considering going through that fence with those extra strand of barbed wire. And this time the barbed wire will be super tight. So that's super cool. Here she goes. Yes. There you go. Tight like a toyga. So we got our fourth strand up. And now we are going to be putting up the fifth one. The fifth one will be running along the top as just extra security for any crazy cows if we ever did encounter them again. Um, any jumping cows, you know, the, the cow jumps over the moon type of cows, so they won't jump over this fence here. We're gonna sharpen these so if they jump right here, they can just... Yeah, exactly. It has been a long day. What time is it? Oh my goodness. It's six o'clock now. We came over here around two. Four hours of hard man's work here. As you can see, we have a beautiful fence here, five strand, three tight ones in the middle, one at the bottom, one at the far top, wicked tight, absolutely happy with it. And we saved a bunch of money by doing it ourselves. On top of that, all the barbed wire that we got, one strand was from this property, two more were leftovers from some random job site and somebody stopped by at our house and was like hey do you want these and we we're like sure why not so they were free so pretty much nothing in life is free of course everybody knows that we live in america but yeah it was free you're t of course four hours of our day but hey i rather do that than than give somebody five or six hundred dollars to come out here and put up this fence here for us and we get to learn how to do it which is even better there's nothing better looking than a brand new barbed wire fence just like this one right here look at the dust cloud so the last time you saw us out here we were we were putting up the wooden battens here today James and Buddy are working on finishing up the rest of the roof. And we are just, not we, but they, they are just about to put on the last panel, which is super exciting. All of this is now totally enclosed. It's just super exciting because this is where the super big four foot door is gonna be. We got some high tanning going on here and if mark edwards if you're watching buddy did get his uh surprise that you gave him so hopefully he'll be using that in a future video here's a pan up here as you can see it's just going to be enormous amount of room here so anyway i'm very excited we're gonna have loads of room in here to do numerous projects 
Um, slowly but surely, we will uh, get stuff in here. For right now, this is a off-grid. This is going to be an off-grid workshop. Um, you might be saying, "Why?" Well, as you know, the price of the price of everything is going up, and to run power back here, it would cost a fortune. We are just going to be doing everything off a generator. The Opez battery power bank for just like charging up stuff. Some, probably some solar lighting in here. We got lots of windows. I think there's eight windows in all. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight windows. Big windows, big nice windows here. Super awesome. But very cool in the shade like this. But this is the old rustic flooring here. The rest we are going to be doing, I've already said, we're gonna be doing it with brand new stuff that uh, we mill from the sawmill here. There she blows. One last little section right there. We were two panels short, so we have to splice four panels together. But panels are expensive to buy them brand new, so that's why we bought them used. So there's a couple old couple old screw holes. So we're gonna have to go back with silicone, roofing silicone and silicone the little holes. But I would rather pay a dollar a linear foot than four or five dollars a linear foot.